Hello, it's a pretty lovely, lovely evening once again from here in Tally and hope as always that each one of you are absolutely, absolutely fine. Recently, actually, I just uploaded a video on important question and topics uh, with respect to financial accounts. And the moment the video was uploaded, I was simply bombarded with lots of what we call request messages. So please come out uh, with a similar sort of video for company accounts. So here we are in, so in this particular session, we are going to have a little bit of chat with respect to what we call important topics, so-called important topics, correct? A student sometimes forces you to say, please tell us important topics, so that's the reason we are here to tell you. But the fact of the matter is that you need to understand that after all, you are pursuing what we call uh, a professional course. A professional course, to be very honest with you, you should not leave nothing to chance, and it is very important that all the parameters of the exam in syllabus should be met and met with great resolve and dedication. That means everything should be covered. All the corners should be well and duly covered, and you should, and you should, as I said earlier, leave nothing to chance. But anyway, sometime when you are you are forced by the student fraternity, you have to accede to their request. So here we are. Come. CMA company accounts important question and this is paper 12 of course we are talking about old course right now at this particular moment correct uh, the paper 12 comprises of two segments as you know better than I actually company accounts and audit and both comprises 50 marks each but since my area of specialization is accounts so I will be talking about only company accounts and not auditing correct as you know the company account portion comprises of only 50 marks so and this is your entire course structure as far as your company accounts portion is con concerned, accounting of shares and debentures, then lots of topics are there as you can see, issue of shares, rights issue, bonus issue, sweat equity share, for feature of share, buyback or share besides redemption of preference share and debenture and the writing of shares. And then cash flow statement, presentation of financial statement, then accounting standards we have got and besides that, you know, three heavyweight chapters, banking company, electricity company and insurance company. So what we expect sometimes, it becomes very difficult to tell, to be very honest with you, but it's still, first of all, two, three things I would love to tell you and share with you. The thing is that, first of all, you need to prepare the objective questions very well. And you can prepare the objective questions very well only once you have gone with each and every chapter thoroughly, comprehensively, and you have listened to each and every lecture, especially those among you who have subscribed to our courses. Those among you who must have subscribed to our courses must have noticed actually that at the end of each chapter we have given you lots of objective questions. So first target should be to do each and every objective question comprehensively and then, then I have actually prepared a sort of what we call list of important questions, not only the list of important questions, in fact I have typed them also for you so you can download these sheets from uh, what we call this particular channel uh, and tip from the telegram link which is which will be provided to you in the description now as far as your share capital is concerned you need not require to actually dwell very hard and deep you are you can expect a very small questions wherein for entries with respect to four feature and reissue will be computed so this is the sort of question which i have picked up uh, correct as far as this particular chapter is concerned but lots of objective questions are asked from this particular chapter keep an eye over that and those among you who have subscribed to our courses must have noticed we have near about 98 or 100 uh, objective questions with respect to share capital only then you have a very small topic bonus issue generally questions are not asked i have never seen a question from bonus issue but it's still just to be on the safer side you try to actually attempt this particular question everyone knows the provisions of bonus issue so and at least at this particular moment you should be well aware of it i have given the question in the solved manner then you have a chapter buyback of share as far as buyback of share is concerned from this particular chapter you can expect a question this time actually in my opinion this is my personal opinion so this sort of question you should prepare well that when a company would buy back its share capital you know, or buy back its share what happens the capital base of the company gets tilted we have to maintain and restructure the capital base at the original level so for that we have to utilize the reserves and sometime we go for fresh issue of shares so you should be well aware how should be how you are going to pass the entry i have given absolutely complete full fresh what we call solution to this particular question so you stress upon this particular question not only the things will get revised but it will orient you uh, quite well to tackle the what we call question then as far as underwriting underwriting is concerned you can always expect a question out of this particular chapter 
wherein you are supposed to compute what we call, of course, the uh, uh, liability of the firm. So how you are going to do that, for that, you should be well aware of all the concept, especially with respect to firm underwriting. So from firm underwriting, you can expect this particular question and given the solution. So generally question would ask you to simply compute the net liability and the total liability. So this is this should be your answer, net liability and total liability. You need not require to stress upon general entries or something like that because we in our lectures have given you what we call and things in entirety that when we have also oriented, oriented you to pass the entries and all. But generally in the examination, they are going to simply ask you how you are going to compute the net liability and total liability. They are going to test. So this, this particular question should be enough as far as this particular chapter is concerned. Now preparation of financial statement is concerned. Here, those among you, again, I would say that who have subscribed to our courses must have noticed that especially in the first two, three lectures, we have covered entire theory. And the reason behind is that of late, lots of what we call objective questions are tossed up. So it is very important in order to tackle the objective sort of question, your theoretical base should be very strong. Correct? So first of all, in order to, in a quick time, if you intend to prepare this particular chapter, the first thing is that you try to actually cover up these objective sort of questions which have been appended here. These questions have been taken from your past year paper or from what we call, uh, most of the questions actually have been taken from the study material which I have provided, but I'm talking about this particular objective sort of questions. Objective sort of questions have been taken from your past year papers or what we call your RTPs, MTPs, correct? So you need to actually do these objective type questions and especially you should be well aware of current asset, current liability, even questions on current asset, current liability could be asked up in the examination. And then sometimes I have seen actually people neglect such sort of question. This question is related to dividend, correct? And this is very important that you should be well aware of all the provisions that what maximum sort of dividend a company could give. A question may ask you. So this is the sort of question you must pay attention to this particular question sometime especially when you are going to get a long question generally long question you get from financial statement and cash flow statement to be very honest with you so you must prepare yourself especially with this sort of question which i have appended here correct very important i've given you with all the solution and with all the provisions of calculation of dividend so you should be in a position to do this. Then one long question you practice also in case if the long question is asked, correct? Wherein you will be supposed, you will be asked to prepare a statement of profit and loss account and balance sheet. So this sort of question, and again, it is given in full-fledged manner, full-fledged solved manner. Now coming back to banking companies. Now banking company is a very long chapter and lots of topics are there, no doubt about that. But at the same time, we have seen as far as if you are going to actually analyze the trend of the examination, generally it seems the focal area is the first topic, correct? So, this is the question with respect to what we call rebates on bills discounted. So, this sort of question is always what we call important and always expected. So, you must do this particular question as far as banking company is concerned. Then there is one question I have kept with respect to what we call performing asset and non-performing asset so you should be aware of the rules of performing asset and non-performing asset and another question i have kept wherein <coughs> your knowledge with respect to creation or provision will be tested so you need to keep an eye actually how much provision a banking company should make with respect to secured what we call debts unsecured debts and of course doubtful debts everything should be crystal clear and again here i have given this particular question in a solved man all the questions which i have appended here have been given with solution. Now coming over to insurance company, as you know that insurance is divided into two parts, basically general insurance and life insurance. General insurance is important, but generally off late, as per the trend of the examination, we are noticing one thing now, long questions are being avoided. So generally you can expect a question on calculation of claims or calculation of premium. So this is a sort of question wherein you are asked to actually compute what we call amount of claim and uh, net premium. So, and you should be aware of all these rules. So that is very important. And then life insurance. As far as life insurance is concerned, it is easy chapter, hardly six questions or two, three questions are there. So you attempt this question just to be on the safer side. And correct, you should be well prepared how to prepare valuation balance sheet, etc., and distribution of surplus and calculation of bonus payable, especially reversionary bon bonus. 
But then coming over to important chapter, electricity companies and cash flow statement, generally you can expect question out of these two. Correct, longer question I am talking about. However, this particular question is shorter one. Correct, you must attempt this question. Then at the same time, there is another question with respect to what we call ex capital expenditure and which is partly financed from the co consumer contribution. So you should be well aware of the rules. And then I have given you a long question also such sort of questions are generally examined generally what we call asked in the examination correct especially if longer sort of question would come then that question will be of what we call such sort of features then coming over to cash flow statement it's again a pretty long chapter no doubt about that so here in what you are supposed to do fill in the blanks first of all you try to do this even in our even in our notes and study material which we have supplied to those who have subscribed to our courses, we have kept near about what we call 50, 60 objective sort of questions over there. You must do that also. When you are actually recapitulating the things in a quick, in a quick fire banner, then of course you will have to do this question and the questions which I have given to you. Now this is one important question which you need to do it. Correct. It's a long question, but manageable question. Correct. And secondly, secondly, another question I think I have appended. These two questions, if you will be, you will be able to do, that means your preparation is okay. Correct? Both these questions have been given in a solved manner. Besides some theoretical questions I have noticed are also asked from what we call cash flow statement. Correct? Theoretical questions, you can do it. Uh, for example, why cash flow statement is prepared and what do you understand by the term cash and cash equivalent? You should be well aware of it. Then we come over to debentures. Uh, even though debenture is a pretty long chapter, but at your level, we are noticing one thing. Either two, three marks question is asked, correct? And that question is very simple. And either the question generally asked is from the conversion. So you do this particular question. It is related to conversion. Even the second question is also related to conversion or debenture. And third question is with respect to terms issue and terms of redemption question. So you can do this particular question easily. Now, as far as accounting standard is concerned, again, we have covered lots of case studies. But when we, when we analyze your past papers or papers, we have seen one thing that uh, not very high proportion of accounting standard case study is asked. Generally, you should be well aware of the title, number one. I mean to say, suppose if I am talking about AS11, you should be aware of the fact that it deals with what we call effects of changes in foreign exchange uh, rates. So you should be aware of the title, number one. And here I have selected some question which you can do. And besides that, some theoretical question of late have been asked from what we call this particular area. So these are the question which we have compiled that define government assistance, government grant, what is a qualifying asset as per AS16, write a short note on geographical segment. And similarly, some other question like write a short note on related party, finance lease, operating lease. In fact, we have discussed all these things at length and lots of what we call objective questions we have appended here also. Correct. Besides that, some true fall questions and objective questions again. So lots of questions we have appended if you are able to do. And if you will go through that, I'm sure actually it will give a flip up to your what we call uh, preparation. So that way around, you can say, in my opinion, these are the important sort of topic which I felt. But the number one rule for success is always that one should leave nothing to chance. Presuming that your preparation you have done on your on your site, you have covered all the what we call areas in a stronger manner. And now, just prior to a day or two, before the examination, you can simply what we call go through this. So that will definitely help you uh, a lot. So you can download these sheets, as I've already told you, from the link which will be provided to you under the description. So that's all. This was the sort, sort of uh, discussion which I just wanted to have because the students were pressurizing us to come out with important question series. Generally, to be very honest with you, I never like to do such videos because I don't think actually I'm doing good, uh, that way good thing to the student because the best rule is that you have to cover whole course comprehensively and in a perfect manner. However, we always presume that you on your side have done the hard work with great dedication and resolve. So now is the time, first of all, be cool, 
calm and you have to be crystal clear in your focus area. So these are the focal areas which I have provided. Rather than saying that these are the important topics, I should say these are the focal areas where you need to stress a bit hard. And that's all. If you are able to do, because all the solutions have been given. So if you can go through these segments, so I'm very sure you will come out with what we call good performance. So with all the love and blessing and affection, we take and all the good wishes, of course, for examination, we take leave of you now.